why it's imperative that you set up a board of advisors and a financial committee if you come into wealth. So there's a lot of different reasons for this. Obviously, you want fantastic professionals around you that can help you maintain your wealth, establish your estate, make sure that you're mitigating your tax obligations, keeping up with inflation, continue to make money on your money, and you want to make sure that all those people are proficient and have the expertise to do that. Other components here that I want to speak to, especially for people that have just come into money. One of those is you're going to have people around you that know this has happened. It's likely that you've probably discussed some of your investments or if you're selling your business, there's, there's a lot of ways that you might come into a significant amount of wealth. And when that event happens, there's likely going to be people to come out of the woodwork asking uh, for things with their handout. Um, and one of the ways that you can mitigate some of the animosity that might happen when you tell those people no is to make sure that you've established a financial committee and board of advisors. So then when people come and ask you for capital for whatever reason, maybe they're starting a business, maybe they have an investment, maybe they just want a handout. You can explain to them that you have this council that you've established that helps you make sure that you're making good investment decisions with your capital and that you would love it if they would just present their business plan or the opportunity uh, to you. Maybe you have an email address that you can have them send things to. And then the board can review those things as along with the financial committee. And if it meets the criteria for their due diligence and investment, then they would love to allocate you some capital. And this way, you're giving them the ability to actually present something that might be worthwhile. The people that do really have good opportunities, they can then be vetted, right? And then it's not you poo-pooing their idea or whatever it is. You have real professionals that are doing due diligence on deals and making sure that you're going to be able to allocate capital in a meaningful way. It's going to generate a return for you and your family. And it's not just going to get flushed on the toilet, handing it out to relatives or friends or anybody that might come ask for capital after you've come into the money. If you don't have a board of advisors or a financial committee, obviously, us at Digital Ascension Group, we do help people establish those things for people that come into wealth through digital assets in particular, but it doesn't have to be us. You know, there's a lot of other fantastic uh, providers out there for that, uh, family office services that can help you establish those things if you have come into money. And that way you can mitigate those potential bad feelings that other people might have for you when you tell them no. Uh, and you can also vet out the ones that really do have something meaningful for you to invest in. With that, like, subscribe, enjoy the content, and we'll see you on the next one.